Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana and today guys we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today we are back on the Lone Ranger series guys and today, whoop, almost jumped off a cliff, uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of work here on the Lone Ranger series. So. We do have our mountain shack here um, up by Green Obelisk, which is a really nice uh, stopping point, really nice little safe area to be, kind of cute. Um, and we do have our little shack. We have uh, a dog house. We have some critters up here. And our round pen, of course, with pumpkin and, uh, and some of our other equus as well. But guys, uh, we do also happen to have down here, and they've kind of all scattered because I don't have a very good way to keep these guys yet. We have all of these creatures, and literally every single one of these creatures um, needs to be taken up to the western town because we are going to start working on uh, our general, or our manor, I guess is what I would call it. We're going to be working on a manor and a greenhouse up there pretty soon, and uh, it would be kind of nice to have all these creatures there ready to populate it once we're done. So. We're going to do a cattle drive today, guys, since most of these are what I like to call bison and bulls. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and let's all follow all on these guys. See who all's going to follow me. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven of them, I think. Alright, I don't think any of the guys up there heard me, which is great. I do want to leave a few tames here, um, just so that I have them available to use at the mountain shack. All right, can you... Yeah, this is gonna be a mess. The herding is not gonna be easy here. We've got a turkey and a couple of bison and some bulls and, and a big old eagle thing. So, it's gonna be a little tricky. And one of our bison is actually stuck on a rock. Come on, Big Bertha, let's go. Y you can do it, there we go. All right, it's gonna be a bit of a mess, but uh, that's kind of the point. Now, obviously, the game does have a request feature, guys, but this is a Western series. Um, I actually am not going to be using a whole lot. I'm not going to be using a whole lot of flyers. I'm not going to be doing um, too much in the way of, like, using the game mechanics like that. I'm actually building everything out of wood. I'm not even trying to get, like, super great armor um, at the moment because I actually like the way that the hide and the cloth looks. So... Since that's kind of the goal, I figured what better way to kind of expand on that than doing like an old-fashioned cattle drive and trying to get all these tames across the map all at the same time. It's going to be great. It's going to be tricky, but it's going to be great. Now, I do have kind of a path mapped out. I just need to keep checking and rounding them up and make sure they're all with me. I think we lost somebody. We definitely lost somebody. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. There are two more. Big Bertha, please don't be a problem. I think I lost somebody else. Maybe. <laughs> it's quite possible. Alright, I think it's just these guys. Yeah, okay, perfect. It's, it's perfect, because the one that's hearing me is actually Durango, the horse that we're currently on. So that works out great. Just got to keep an eye on Big Bertha. She's a little on the slow side. That's okay. We'll make it work. Come on, everybody. Oh, those bison. Come on, guys. You can do it. This way. Oh, Bertha's gonna be like the biggest pain. John's doing his best, but Bertha. Oh, boy. Alright, let's go. Uh, best news about having all these guys. Did I just kill that compi in one kick? I am 100% sure that I just killed that compi in one kick, and oh boy, Durango is powerful. I love this horse, guys. <laughs> he is he is actually pretty amazing. He does his best here. Uh, we're going to be waiting on the bison so much. They are definitely the slow, slow creatures here. It's totally all right, though. All right, let's come up this way. Um, hopefully they don't. Yep, there it is. Everybody turn around and attack. Luckily, I don't think we have to worry about getting killed too much on this particular journey. I think we have um, a little bit of a force behind us. <laughs> There's a lot of firepower here between all these different teams, so I think we're going to be okay. 
in the long run. Just waiting on them bison. All right. We're going to do a little bit of fording of the river. Look, they're killing the bugs, aren't they? Come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. They'll figure it out eventually. Come on. Come on. Almost got them all. All right, we got some, like, river dogs over there. All right, everybody, everybody good? Everybody coming? The salmon are kind of in the way. All right, run up here. We'll wait for, of course it would be, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Bertha that's stuck on the fish. Come on. Oh, they're killing piranhas now. Delightful. <sighs> All right. Well, if we're gonna be doing that, we're gonna be doing that. Can you, Big John, please. Please. Actually, seeing that uh, does remind me, I do actually need to tame some pigs at some point. They're kind of needed. It's going to be important for the farm. That's all right. We'll get to them eventually. Can we... Everybody keeping up now? We're good? Any more fish fights? Come on. It's not even that far to the western town. They're just like... <laughs> squirrely, but I guess that's why they call it a drive, right? Got to round them up. All right. Waiting on a... Waiting on a car now. Come on. Come on, Mr. Bull. Come on. There you go. Oh, we're gonna get attacked. That didn't take long. Okay, this way. Onward. Oh, they're so slow. <laughs> I actually do love it, though. Um, it is kind of fun. I haven't done, like, an old-fashioned drive like this in a long time uh, because mobile does have the request feature, and I actually think this is way more fun. A little bit more dangerous, but when you have an army like this, um, it's not so bad. The only major issue is just <laughs> trying to navigate and make sure you go slow enough for all the really slow creatures to keep up like Big Bertha and Big John, who, bless their hearts, try, but, oh boy, they do struggle. Nothing like this turkey, though. He is on me. Come on. Yeah, you are very close to me, sir. That's all right. That's what turkeys do. Oh my gosh, guys. We're actually almost there. This wasn't even all of that, like, it wasn't even that long of a drive. It was just a little tricky. Uh, kill it. That's a very dead snake. Everything is so strong. It's actually crazy. All right, let's go up here. We're here. Come on. Come on, everybody. Round them up. Move them out. Rawhide. Come on. There we go. Beautiful wait for everybody to like come into the town itself before I start organizing oh my gosh all right <laughs> that was actually kind of an interesting uh, interesting thing that was very convenient thank you the eagle knows exactly what to do he's been the best behaved on this whole journey so I'm very happy with him uh, let's go ahead and move big Bertha and big John for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a couple of stalls. The tree's a little bit in the way here. Yeah, we'll put them in these back stalls here. They should be fine. Um, and then eventually I am, of course, that actually worked perfectly. Oh, his tail was going right through the window. It was beautiful. Eventually I will be um, getting myself a proper pen for these guys because bison need plenty of room to roam so we're gonna make like a full-on pasture for these guys at some point but uh, for now they are gonna have to stay in the livery in the stable just because it's a little bit uh, more organized here and this is where I have the room for them they are massive though you always forget how big the bison are until you try to get them into a stable that a horse fits in oh, they're so big oh my gosh they look pretty happy, though. They're going to be well-fed. They're going to be super excited to live there. 
Um, alright, you... I don't have a saddle for Mr. Turkey, so you're gonna follow me. Uh, Turkey is probably going to sit right next to the chicken pen for now. That actually worked out perfectly, thank you. Stop, 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 stop. Perfect. Alright, he's gonna sit next to the chicken pen and do his thing there. Uh, you... Oh no. Where is he? Ah! You're over here. Okay, I think we actually need to make saddles for these bulls real quick. Um, I do think we have the level for it. But I don't think we ever learned how to make it. Let's go ahead and search this up real quick. Perfect. Alright, now... If I'm not mistaken, what are we missing? Hide? I have some hide. I really only need one at the moment. Boy, that's a slow craft. Did I just level up? I leveled up. Cool. Getting closer to making the proper, proper saddle for the eagle as well, which is going to be super useful. Very, very useful. Looking forward to that. All right, you, Mr. Bull, let's go ahead and grab you real quick. Oh boy, he's fast. All right, we're gonna stick him in this stall over here for now. I might move the pack mule up a stall and then, uh, or maybe they'll both fit into the same stall. They are actually surprisingly pretty skinny, so it might work. Let's just unequip that. Uh, can I, there we go, take that. Alright, grab this guy over here, and then I think we're all set. Not a long cattle drive for sure, definitely not the longest, but um, still, I think it was definitely uh, something that needed to be done, and definitely something that was kind of fun to do. <laughs> I love it. I like just wandering around on the actual map um, with these creatures. I think it's so much more fun than trying to like request them all over and and all of that. They look so good. I love it. I think it's good. I think everything is in place, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I heard danger music for a second, and I know that those little coyotes do like to spawn up here. Um, that's Dillos, for those of you who are keeping up. Uh, so I do have to keep checking for those, but I think we're okay. Beautiful. Alright, well... There we go, guys. That is currently the state of things. We've got all of our creatures here. They are in the livery where they belong, except for the ones that are staying at the Mountain Shack. Um, I do think I'm going to make some changes to the general store. I think on this side, I'm going to go ahead and add in, like, a shelf of some kind. Can I not? Like, there. A shelf, and uh, we'll be able to climb up there and maybe put some more storage boxes and stuff. Um, just a larger storage area for people to be able to, or the general store owner to be able to climb up and get items for the customers, because that's how it was back then. The, uh, <laughs> the customers would actually just tell the owner what they wanted, and then the owner would go and fetch the items for them to take home, which is actually kind of a cool system. Um, alright, let's do you. You are in the way. Gosh, this horse is good. I love him. Oh my goodness. I wonder what else I can knock out in one hit. I'm just curious real quick here, guys. I want to know if I can single hit knock something like this level 100 pack mule. That was three hits. Are you going to go down? Because that would be amazing, actually. Or is it going to take four? I'm just going to chase it around for a second. I have to know. There it is. Four or five. I think it was going to go down before I hit it again, but uh, that extra knock definitely did it. I wouldn't be surprised if this horse could actually actually knock out like a Rex or something. I might have to try it at some point, guys, because I am actually really curious to see just how strong Durango is. Hey. They're very brave coming up on me like that. Hey. What's that, level 40? Oh, whoops. Oh, a 290. Oh, dang. The moment you wish you had prime meat. 
There's no way. I can't keep him down long enough. That super sucks. That super sucks. That would have been a cool one, but uh, it is what it is. Would have been kind of fun to have a little lizard friend hanging around in the mansion. Not the most western thing, but uh, definitely a cool creature. He looks cool, too. I might just... I'm going to take his implant, just in case. He's not very expensive. And he's beautiful. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, don't try to mess with Durango. He'll wreck your face. They tried so hard. Yeah, I might actually revive this little lizard. He looks pretty cool. He's a blue belly lizard. It's perfect. Oh, gosh. No. No! <laughs> oh, I forgot they were all on attack by target. I was too close to the town. Um, That's all right. I'll put the bulls back in a little bit. They are a little bit aggressive, as bulls should be. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to build a pen for them soon, guys. So I think next time... Next time we're going to have to work on the general, uh, or the manor, and the farm fields, and the greenhouse. Uh, that's going to be a huge build. It's going to take multiple episodes, I think, guys. But, yeah, I do think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.